Hello guys, welcome to the Pounce Podcast, Headball 2 Podcast. This is a new installment of something I'm trying to do to help you guys out, even though the majority of the information pertaining to your questions are already available on my YouTube channel. I'm still going to try to help you out. So as I said in the trailer, I'm going to try to answer up to 10 questions um, in each session. This episode will air on the 26th of May. And I've had a good response. I've got six questions already. Uh, I'm trying to do them in segments. So as I get a question, I answer. This is why you'll see me wear different clothes or be in different settings. But I'm just going to try to answer these questions for you. So let's move on to the first one. Before I do that, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Lots of cool, informative videos. And if you do appreciate the videos, do post a like. So Chris comes up with a first question here. How to progress faster and what are the best way to spend your gems on. So luckily for Chris, I do have a playlist that touches upon that on my YouTube channel, which is called the Game Tips playlist. I strongly encourage you to watch all the playlists because all of them do carry valuable information. So you'll find a lot of, of, of info pertaining to your question. I'm not gonna you know, spend too many uh, too much time and too many minutes actually answering your question um, in details because there are videos for that. I think in that playlist there are over 35 videos, but I'm just going to give you a summary of what's going on. So first of all, you have to unlock characters. That's the, the name of the game. You want to try to reach level 50 XP as fast as possible. And if you're an active gamer, this is going to happen and use your boost, um, XP boost to do that. That's very important. As you do that, you'll be unlocking stadiums, which gives you more perks. And you definitely want to upgrade your characters. This is, this is quite important. Now, you want to be wise about your gems. Three main types of gems. Gold, which is primarily used to upgrade characters. Emeralds is to use to progress in the game. Double fans boost, use perks. Uh, double gold boost you definitely want to use them as fast i mean as much as possible and the third one are diamonds now what the mistake that most players do is that they actually take the diamonds and play play of the match which i call scam of the match because it is a scam you will get things out of it when you have a big bank balance like me it's easier now but i've been in so many situations where i used um, extraordinary amounts of diamonds to gamble and i do have a gambling problem in real life which is ironic i'm actually much more careful and uh, well managed regarding my diamonds in this game so thank you to that massimo but if i could go back two years if i could go back a year and a half even a year i would spend 80 or 90 percent of what i did in scam of the match and buying packs because by buying packs you get more character cards more character cards you get you get closer to having the possibility to upgrade them and obviously when you do have level five and six characters which is what the events require um, as you go up your progression, this is this is what's needed. So I hope I answered your question there. Again, um, don't just watch the Game Tips playlist. There are other playlists that explain a lot of things. So I encourage you to watch them. I hope I answered your question. We're going to be moving on to the second question now in a minute. Moving on to our second question from our friend Italian who says, I have a problem, I can't find my friend in search. Why? Um, I'm actually using my phone to record the audio because the quality is a bit better. So I'm gonna try to see if I can actually, while I speak, show you why that is. But I think that the problem lies in the server. So when you say friend, do you mean an actual real life friend who plays the game? Because if he was your friend on the game, he'd already be in your friends section. So. You must not forget that the game is arranged in different servers. If you go on any parts of rankings, whether it's career mode, cups, trophies, fans, you'll see on the top right that there are two options. You have global and local. Now, global basically means the entire Headball 2 community and local means the server in which you play in. For example, I don't know, um, your name is Italian, but there's Arabic written next to it. So I don't know if you actually play in the European Italian server or if you're in the Middle East server, it doesn't matter. But from my understanding, there is a North American server, which you know primarily caters to uh, people from Mexico, United States, and Canada. I don't know if Central America is related to North America or South America. Those are two different servers. You now have the European server, and I'm not sure if it's dispersed into Western Europe and Eastern Europe, might be, but I know there's a European server. There is an Australian and Asian server, and then there's my server 
which is a bit confusing because Mauritius is in Africa, but I don't see many players from other African countries. So is Africa a server on by itself on its own? I know I play with a lot of people from uh, the United Arab Emirates, some um, Arabic countries in the Middle East, definitely India and Pakistan. So I like to call my server the Africa um, India Middle East server. So what you have to remember is that if the people you are looking for are not in your server, you will not be able to find them in the search bar. You might be able to click on their profile uh, or someone's profile in the events because I think events are even regrouped, not the entire world, but maybe they touch on two servers. For example, when I play King of Tribune, Master of Points and Gold Reign, I have all the guys and girls in my server. Girls too, because 15% of Headball 2 players are girls, don't forget. So, but when I play, we are paired with, I mean, the rankings shows people from Argentina, from Mexico, uh, from Brazil, not really Mexico. I, have, I think I made a mistake on that. You'll see the US and UK flag, but that basically means that Massimo has registered you under the price tag of people in the UK and the United States. That doesn't mean they're physically there. So um, how to find out if you can add someone when you click on the character, you know, on, on a profile. If you see on the top left that you see a shield, that will say add the person to the team. If you see a plus sign, that means that person is in your server. If you see the plus sign, you should be able to find that person in the search bar. But I don't think the search bar can be used to find people or players that are outside your server. So I hope I was able to actually put that in video, or if I didn't, definitely through pictures. So I hope I answered your question there, Italian, big ups. Moving on to question number three, my friend L, long time subscriber of mine, so big ups, thanks for participating. What about the chance cards? There's a new feature that Massimo introduced a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, might have been less, essentially, you have the possibility to increase the character levels from six to seven. Now, it can be confusing. All you have to do, it's basically pure luck. I don't know, maybe there is an algorithm behind. I don't know. Um, you will see when you are trying to upgrade a character that there is a uh, chance bar or likelihood of it increasing, which is low, very low, low, medium, or whatever it might be. So, what the game wants you to do is to just spend your gold so that you have no more gold left. And if you don't have any more gold left, you're left with two options. You either buy real gold from the store or you use your diamonds to purchase gold. Either way, um, it depends. I don't necessarily need level seven because I play against bots. If you play against real players, this is something that actually you might look into. So it depends again on servers and pairing. I have videos for that determining if you're playing against bots or real players and why that is, feel free to check the link on top or if it's not there, it will be appearing on a playlist which I'll screenshot here. So essentially when you have a character, you just click once and we'll try to upgrade. I don't have my phone with me, but let's see if it actually does it. And then it will say successful or not. And then you try again and then it will say successful or not. I'm trying to match with what's actually going on in the game. Even though I don't have the game, I have the timing, I think, right? And you keep trying. And if you keep trying long enough, you know, you may unlock it or you may not unlock it. There have been characters which I've tried, not on the high end, because I saw that people had spent, you know, 3,000 diamonds trying to get 3 million gold of, or whatever, something ridiculous like that. So I tried it on common characters. And the chance card, essentially, when you buy it, they say it's, it can be available on player of the match. I've played a few rounds. I'm very disciplined. I play once a day and I never go past the first two red cards unless there's something to, to win. They should uh, be available in packs. I haven't seen that happen yet, but if you get those chance cards, which for now I know for sure are available in the store, prior to upgrading, you would put your chance card in, and I think they go between 50%, 150% chance, 2000% chance. You put them in, and seemingly when you click upgrade, on the first try, you should get it. Now I've heard horror stories of people on Facebook who have actually purchased different cards, 50%, 150, 200, click the upgrade button and it didn't work. So you can either try these cards or if you have the bank balance in terms of gold, just keep clicking until it unlocks. I've unlocked Omen on the second try. I have unlocked Doom Lord, I think, or Skymaster. I think it's Doom Lord. I don't have my phone in front of me. So I think it's Doom Lord on the 10th or 11th try. 
there have been common characters which I've tried 30 times because 3000 times 30 is not um, as bad as one times 60,000 for Omen. So it really depends. Uh, what I like to do is to try five times and if it doesn't work, I just, you know, don't bother about it for about a day or two and I'll try again. And eventually to move up career mode, you're gonna have to unlock all of them but I would suggest that, you know, when you try to do that, you obviously use the event characters. And I'm actually on my website now, on Porkchop's website, I started keeping track of which event characters are coming up. I have a chart for that. It started as of the 16th of May, I think, or 9th of May. I can't remember. I don't have the, the date. But every time there's a character, if you go on my blog page, which is news, I will have the percentage of how, many, how often character cards, I mean, event characters come so you can see which ones apply or not. So hope I answered the question. If I didn't, maybe other guys in the community can share their horror experiences with the chance cards. Moving on to question number four from Nisark Takar, who writes, post gameplay video two. So I am not going to do that for a few reasons. There already are videos of me playing which are available on my channel and if i can find them you should be able to find them under superpowers and under playing tips so um i don't play against real players i play against bots it's pretty boring to be honest but for me this game does things in my personal life there are videos that explain what i went through that's not the point um it's bots and the patterns are the same they haven't changed in two years the bots use their superpowers against me um, on a pretty similar and regular basis. So it's explained in those playlists. So uh, feel free to watch them, but I'm not gonna record videos explaining the same thing, or, you know, just have a channel where I just play five matches against bots because the story is the same. So if you wanna see me play, videos are already available on the channel. Big ups. All right, let's head to question number five from Gavazio Guedes. I think this is about team season. How to use 30% cashback of diamonds spent when I am in a team playing on the Diamond League. So the answer, I actually have my phone here, but not on the game. I took some snapshots, from, which I'm going to try to include in the video. So if you look on the top left, you'll see the little eye. Um, it's very important that you read it because a lot of the answers are there. Sometimes it's a bit ambiguous, so it's, it's hard to understand. I wasn't sure, and this question is actually a very good question because now I do understand. So you got to read everything, but if you go down to, if I'm not mistaken, um, it would be rewards and perks. You're going to purchase bonus, so I'm going to read that with you, put it on the screen. So it is active from the Gold League when purchasing diamond products in the market. We need to understand later what the market means. It provides free diamond at the rate shown in the league perks. So in the diamond league, it's 30%. The gift diamonds are sent to the inbox after rate shown in the league perk. The gift diamonds are sent to the inbox. Sorry, I just read that twice. This perk can also be obtained from cup progression. Okay, so there is also something that says, and I don't have the screenshot, but I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it says it does not apply to bundle offers. So we need to understand what's going on. So you actually have to spend real physical money for this um, to kick in. So if you use diamonds to buy mega packs or legendary packs, you're not gonna get money back. I tried that. And if you go on the store, so the market essentially means the top left thing where you have the offers, that's the market. If you go in a store, you see that when you click diamonds, right? You see that you have options to buy 450 diamonds for $4.22, 100 diamonds, 281 and so forth. So essentially what it's telling you is that if you buy diamonds, but daily diamonds, the 30% does not kick in. So that's one, the 30% does not apply to daily diamonds. And when you go in the, in the offers, we need to understand what the bundle offer is. So a bundle offer is a bundle, is a group. So if you see diamonds here, for example, let's look at this hot deal. You got four mega packs, you got 465 omen cars, 2,500 diamonds and 2,000 emeralds, if you buy that, you're not gonna get 30% because it's a bundle. And how do we know it's a bundle? Because I clicked on 2821, and this is what came up prior to me purchasing. I didn't purchase the offer, but it clearly says here that it's a bundle offer. So anytime you see diamonds forming part of an offer, 
the 30% does not kick in. So where does it kick in? We have to pretty much go back to the store where we see here 100 diamonds, 300 diamonds and so forth. So I think this reward or this perk is used to encourage players to purchase only diamonds because this is the least I would I would think the least bought offers because players when they spend money like me I'm looking at getting many things I'm looking at getting manager cash right now and there's another good question coming up on offers towards the end of um, this episode but I have bought quite a lot of things for Massimo I think diamonds are only bought once or twice and I've spent quite a bit of money um, so also you'll see in bundle offers, for example, if you compare the price of what they offer, 4,800 diamonds, 2,000 diamonds and so forth, it will usually cost you less to buy a bundle offer than actual diamonds. So just remember that the 30% or 25% or 20% as from the goal league in terms of perk only applies from what I understand and what we read together to purchasing diamonds only. So I hope this answered your question. I haven't tried it. I'm not going to try it because I've got the things that I buy. And I know when I buy my bundles, for example, there's one with manager cash that just came up. I might buy it today. Um, I usually have been getting over the last few weeks the one with 1,200 manager cash and uh, some mega packs. Sometimes it changes, but um, I haven't done that. So I think personally that it's more lucrative and more beneficial for you if you are going to spend money to buy diamonds through a bundle. For example, me, I've completed all the characters, which means every time I buy a pack, I get diamonds back at the rate which is specified. So on a mega pack, you pay 800 for the mega pack, but when I do obtain a mega pack from an event or a bundle offer, I get 360 diamonds. So if I get an offer with 10 mega packs in it, I'm getting 360 times 10, 3,600 diamonds plus the diamonds or emeralds or the manager cash and so forth. So I hope I answered your question. Let's move on to the next one. Getting to question number six now from Shivam Siwal. I'm actually reading it from the phone now, not the screen, because I've got a bunch of windows open to help you with the question. Please tell how to spend coins, diamonds, and emeralds wisely. Well, I am not going to answer this in this segment. However, I will point you in the right direction. So... Throughout the last year, I've made numerous videos. And again, if you're watching this, don't ask me, please, to provide uh, playing videos. There are lots of channels who do that very well. Um, I want to keep my channel um, informative so that when you have a question or something regarding the game, you come here. So under my YouTube channel, you will see a game tips playlist. And I've highlighted five that I think um, really will help gamers out concerning this question. The first one is tip for gold coin management and upgrading characters, always keeping a minimum balance. This is a good video. It's about nine minutes long. Definitely encourage you to watch it because upgrading characters is a very big part of the game. So definitely this one is a good recommendation. Now regarding emeralds, um, I've got another one in the same playlist. Tip to manage them wisely and acquire them without having to purchase often. This has changed a slight bit because the store um, has upgraded and obviously there's the mentality of do I actually purchase stuff versus non-purchasing. So you'll definitely get good insight on this video. And um, then you have another one on the Game Tips playlist entitled Game Store, should you purchase gold coins through offers? This was a request from a subscriber. Again, um, this will give you good insight regarding gold coins purchasing or not. And then there's also one telling you about how gold coins are maxed at 10 million and that it's important to plan because, you know, if you don't plan your gold well enough, then, you know, you spend all your gems and your gold on one character and then the characters change on the events every, every two or three days. And then you're trying to upgrade and you don't have the gold. So this is a good one too regarding upgrading, keeping a minimum balance. Remember that the gold used to be 2,000 a win when you got to Stadium 10. And now it's 1,400. So it's decreased. So you need to either play more matches to get the same amount of gold or purchase offers. So definitely a good one. And again, these four ones, the three out of four I just mentioned, touch on gold because gold is vital and, and crucial to upgrading characters. Then I also have one um, that I selected and put it in this list called Enjoying the Game by Managing Expectations and Understanding understanding the Pay-to-Win, Pay-to-Play 
and scam concepts, which there are a few in this game. I love the game, saved my life in many ways. So, you know, you ask me why I play the game, this game and why I take it seriously. Um, I was deeply and, and deeply rooted into alcoholism and gambling addiction for a very long time of my life. Um, got some personal events that happened to me. Wife left me, ex-wife now, left me with my kid. So, you know, instead of taking the time to go out and gambling and drinking and doing non-productive stuff, I would actually stay home and play the game. So, um, they, you know, I get some nasty comments sometimes saying, you know, you're a fool, you spend money and so forth. Well, you know, you don't know my life. For me, it's actually better to pay 100 or $200 a month and give to Massimo and being a good boy, a good man, being a good father, rather than taking a thousand dollars and gambling at the casino to feel like crap the next day so this is why i pay it's a service that they provide and it's an enjoyment for me so i have absolutely no problems whatsoever to give massimo a bit of my money for what i get in return so just wanted to touch on that then there's also a video called season management motivation setting goals and targets for various events this is very important because if you just play like this you're going to spend gems for nothing there's sometimes you know depending on your mood your motivation where you might want to focus on King of Tribune, not worry so much about gold, rain, and then maybe focus on Master of Form. Well, this costs money because if you want to do well in these events, you're definitely going to have to use emeralds to get the double gold boost or the triple fans boost, uh, triple points boost, you know, doubles fans boost. Do you want to use manager cash? At the time, manager cash was not used as it is today, but still a very great video. You got to understand the concepts of setting goals and targets. And then finally, regarding diamonds, um, there is a video um, in the play of the match, scam of the match playlist. Um, it's called Tip, Concepts and Definition. Most of the players' diamonds get lost in play of the match. I don't play it anymore. I play it once a day. I take, you know, the first red card at 30, second at 60. If it's worthwhile, you know, I get 120. So people ask, how do you get a big bank balance like that? Well, half of it is purchased. The other half is not wasting them. And I've done this mistake in the past where I would, you know, inherit my gambling addiction and just, you know, buy 5,000 diamonds. 20 minutes later, I've got nothing and do that again. So I've learned, but I can tell you that the majority of your diamonds are not going to go in you, for example, buying gold with it or in you um, buying, you know, superpowers. Of course, you guys do that, but the huge chunk of the diamonds that you use go on scam of the match so if you want to keep your diamonds just don't play it just don't play it so there you go i hope i answered your question um so many videos out there just pointed you to the right direction watch these videos post a like and do subscribe and uh, i think this should definitely help you out so we're going to move on to the next question now after question number seven from yusuf sheikh who i think commented on not a video is supposed to but i thought i'd take this question and Put it in. Thanks for the video. I had a question. Did you get this sort of offers in the store since the start of the game? Or did it start developing as you leveled up? Because I don't get that sort of offers. This is a very good question. And I don't have proof of this. But we can definitely go by past history to try to compare some offers. So before I go into such offers, just want to let you know that I do have a playlist called game store and i did post a few videos and you will see that there are some offers that i commented about and i made a video about um, that are not available anymore so i think that there are some offers that have been recurring for a very long time and there are some that change and i even think that there are some offers that are adapted to not necessarily each individual player, but maybe the range of level of the fans you are at that XP. And I would even go as far as saying based on how you are doing in a season. And I'll touch on that in just a second. So if we look at the offers at the moment, you know, we have the ones that are recurring. For example, you've got the one here with four mega packs, 2,500, 2,000 emeralds at around $30. This has been um, on the market for more than six months i think so that's one of them that's a recurrent offer so i think this is standard for everyone and before i go in the next ones i did post a video explaining why the prices differ by country by region so i encourage you to watch it um this has to do with the country flag in my case you will see that my profile country flag bears the union jack which is the the flag of the united kingdom but when i play an event 
um, you will see that the Mauritius flag, the Mauritian flag appears. And there is, uh, you know, some people try to change flags and you can't do that on the game. And I did manage to change my event flag to Mauritius by emailing Massimo. Again, I made a video on that. I don't know, half the people said they don't like it. I don't understand why, because I show exactly how it's done. What you must understand is that there are no options in the game right now that permit you to change your flag from the settings base. Um, your profile flag is cannot be changed. That's what Massimo has told me and told numerous people that I've interacted with. The profile flag is essentially the one you click on your profile where it shows the little icon and then your event flag can change, but that is up to Massimo to decide based on IP confirmation basically then verifying that you live somewhere based on your IP location, but there are no definitives. The answer lies and rests with them. So, you know, it's essentially a shot in the dark. So going back to the deals, there's this one here for 2553 final offer. The name changes sometimes, but the 4,800 diamonds, the five mega packs, um, you know, the cards, they change, but you know, grosso modo, this offer has been there for a while. Uh, we also have the mixed offer here. I think this has been standard and on the server, on the market for quite a while. Um, this has changed, for example. Um, this is this is a good one. I don't know if you guys received the one with 1200 manager cash, which is interesting because about four or five weeks ago, now I'm now, obviously you've seen my website for pot, pork chops and you know I do podcasts, so I don't focus on the league as much. I just play my 13 tickets plus 10 tickets and then I focus a lot on social media stuff. But when I was playing a lot and I won four or five Champions League one titles in a row, I was offered this this one here, right? So I, I would get the manager cash, 1,000, 500 emeralds and seven mega packs. Now, you know, obviously to win the league, you have to use a lot of triple points and times six. And I was doing that. And this offer, I think, was available for many people, you know, 1,000 manager cash, 500 emeralds and, and seven mega packs. And then when I bought this, I was offered this one. And this one lasted for 60 minutes, so one hour. So when I was competing in the league to win the titles and I was using a lot of manager cash, I got, you know, that's why I was able to win the league actually, because I was using time six point for a week. Um, you know, so I used that four times and people were asking me, are you using manager cash? I said, no, I got an offer. So I think this was tailored to where I actually was you know, my level and my playing appetite, which was to win the league. And I was getting this no mega packs here. Right. And then there was one point where I was just opening mega packs. I went on the store. I was playing a lot of, of scam of the match in a controlled way, not like an idiot. And I was using a lot of diamonds to open mega packs. And then I got this offer here, um, you know, uh, purchase of two deals, 22 mega packs for $20. Uh, our friend Vast Docs, um, posted a video, I think, where he got the similar offer. So I got this for a while and then it stopped. And then, you know, this came right after and then I got a hot deal with 12 mega packs and 1700 cards or whatever. So this was all in the mega pack opening phase of mine, uh, which enabled me to complete a lot of characters. Another good example is here, got an exclusive character Zeus with 10 mega packs again. So that's that, 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 that's that. And at the moment right now, um, I just came up with a new offer. I don't know if you guys get it, but I got this one here, Cyberjack, Chance Card and 3000 Manager Cash. So right now I'm using a lot of Manager Cash and I don't like to go on the actual store to purchase Manager Cash because I think the, the offers are too expensive. You know, 7000 Manager Cash, I think it's seven or 7,500. I don't have it in front of me and 15,000, that's a lot. So, you know, for me, I, I, I do, you know, I obviously use level eight Manager every day because of my of, of pork chops so i don't use times three points i just use manager cash and double spans boost and ironically or coincidentally i get offers for manager cash and i get offers for emeralds and not so much for mega packs mega packs like i said when i do open them i get 360 diamonds so you will see that um, there are a few offers that um, that are available i did buy the ones with the chance cards and i am going to post a video after in this episode towards the end of how to actually put the chance cards in and um, you'll be in for a surprise you'll be in for a big surprise so some people you know they don't know how to go about it so i'll explain it to you in a minute so i hope i answered your question i think um 
I think this is this is pretty on point. So I think it's a mix. You've got offers that are recurrent. You've got offers that match how you play, and then you've got offers that you know apply to some people, apply not to some. Uh, you've got some flash offers, sixty minutes. So that's pretty much it. I hope I answered your question. Again, I don't work for Massimo, so I don't have any definite proof. I'm just going by the trend. Let's move on to the next question. Off to our eighth and last question for today's episode before the two videos coming up on purchasers and chance card we got our friend jp here hi quick question as i'm new to all of the clans by that i think he means team season and quite new to the game but how do you get the cups and your clans total team cups the thing where if you get 50 you get the cool shoes and stuff thank you and cool v thanks jp appreciate it and um I'll try to answer this question. As I said before, you've got to click on the I and really read it through. All the information is gonna be on there. So let's try to see if we can read this together. Um, when you click this, you got the better warning and you are talking about team cups and the shoes. So I think this would be either under rewards and perks or cup progression. As you can see here, you've got the list of items. So team season rewards, let's read this together. Amazing rewards are waiting for you in team season. You'll be able to obtain these rewards from weekly season ranking, league perks, cup progression. You can find weekly ranking rewards and league perks in the league rewards tab on the team season screen, which is this one. So for those of you guys who don't know how this works, um, each season you see the diamonds, you know, sometimes it's gold, sometimes it's, it's, it's emerald, and then you've got the cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in this case, I'm in the Emerald League with pork chops. So some of my guys were confused when this was 650, 500, 350, 200, and 100, and so forth. They thought that their ranking within the team would get them this, and this is not true. This is given to every single member if you do place in the payable spots. So in our case, pork chops was seventh this season, but if we had finished fourth. Every member would have gotten 200 diamonds, 75 emeralds, and five cups. Now, of course, you've got the emerald badge, emerald chest, purchase bonus. We talked about this card package bonus. But what you need to understand is that these rewards are given to the team members that are on the team when the team finishes within this ranking. Now, in order to get these rewards, if I'm not mistaken, you've got to play at least one match or... Um, complete all the team boxes this is probably for another question i haven't read through it but let's try to answer your question now which is about cup progression so yeah so you've got the the little screen here where you see the shoes exclusive item 20 trophies uh plus five 50 trophies and so forth so this is for the team and let's read the cup progression what it tells us together Teams that finish the season in the top five win cups along with gold, emeralds, and diamond. diamonds. As teams win cups, they move forward, they move towards the determined goals. So every time you win cups, every season, you will see your cup progression. Now here this cup. Now, this little icon here is the total number of cups that you win. So let's say you were in a gold league, you got one cup. You didn't get a cup the next season you got relegated and then you got four cups this is your total cup so just remember that okay when these goals are achieved special rewards sent to the team can be used by team members right what rewards are won through the cup progression so you've got team exclusive accessories shoes jerseys tail and goggles so i'm gonna try to see if i can have a screenshot of all the cup perks because this is from massimo screenshot i should be able to use mine and show you so i'll give a few seconds pause here because obviously i think there are one or two right so um so we've got the accessories these accessories are only available i don't yeah only through cup progression and cannot be obtained from packs or events so these perks are only when you form part of a team you cannot get them in play of the match scam of the match opening packs unless of course massimo comes up in the market which should be there um, on your screen if they come up on the market they did do that with some accessories so we don't know that might change because massimo doesn't always stick to what they write for example there was a, a, a great one where you know when you clicked on emeralds it said it can only be um, obtained through gameplay or something this was obviously when when the game was created maybe they changed it 
but now they're saying that you can buy it from the market. So when the desired goal is reached, they are added to the number one nine relevant section. So here you go, right? Um, this is the important part here. All rewards earned from cup progression belong to the team. So when you go on your profile, you see team cups, right? So long as you are on the team, you will see that number appear, 12 cups, 14 cups, 16 cups. And you obviously have all the perks that come along with what your team has earned. If tomorrow you were to leave the team, you go on your screen, you will see that there is no cups. You will see that there is no Emerald badge, League badge, Diamond League badge, whatever. You don't belong to a team. You don't have a ranking and you don't have the cups anymore. What that means is that when you leave a team, what you have earned in terms of cup progression, rewards and perks no longer applies to you. So this is very important. So I hope you answered your question. Your question. I think the main story here is to remember that you have to progress with the team. Whatever you get in the team season belongs to the team. So if tomorrow you were to switch teams, you would be rewarded as per the perks which are available for the team at that current time. Hope I answered your question and we'll have this vids now and then we'll conclude this episode. Moving on to the next section here, I just wanted to show you some offers that I purchased. Um, they're basically around the manager cash level um, because I'm using a lot of it for the season. So I bought this one, bundle offer at 1560. I like it, pretty good deal. Like I said, I compared to what was available in the store. So I did get the chance card. I'll show you a video after this one. And then this is one I get as well, um, the 1200 one. So here we got Cyberjack. I was at level three, now I got to level six. That's pretty good. And um, gonna go ahead and buy this one as well. This is good for me because I get about a thousand diamonds from the mega packs and that helps me for the team season because I do not place in the top 10 anymore. I'm just so busy with social media, season review, uh, obviously doing the podcast. So I have to prioritize. <coughs> so that's how it is. And I do have the season perk because I'm in the Emerald League. So I get 5% cards. Now I do have a video on selling skill cards. I do sell about 100 or 200 per week because I make them back in some packs. So that was just showing you a couple of offers that I like to purchase. And uh, I said earlier the difference about, you know, buying from the store directly and bundles. I'm a big fan of bundles because I get many things. And obviously the emeralds help me. As well so for the time being my focus are on emeralds and manager cash because my objective is to primarily compete in the team season so just wanted to show you this one i think there's one more mega pack to open and here i'm done with all my skill cards as you can see i only got four or five so i'm gonna have to sell some because if you keep your skill cards fully loaded then you don't take advantage like here i should have been getting one or two skill cards so if your skill cards are full, I would encourage you to sell about 100 or 200 because you make them back. And um, those are skill cards that are for superpowers primarily. So collect the pack. It does change. A uh, similar offer used to offer, used to provide four or five mega packs. I think I got three this time, but that's all right. They will change. I think I'm done here. No, one more, two collector packs. Totally useless, I think costs 300 diamonds in the store. Basically get a few common and rare cards. So there you go. That's pretty much it. And the next video will talk about the chance cards. After the last video of the segment, and here, as you saw earlier, I purchased an offer that gave me chance card. And I did buy another offer. I don't have the screenshot. It's a dollar you got. A bunch of cards so here essentially what you want to do is to click on the plus sign how did i get to this area here as i clicked on the plus sign very low and it should load up the chance cards as you can see i have 14 but because it forms part of skill cards the more skill cards you have there is a bit of a freeze time so you really have to wait um, it took a while here i think this video is about two or three minutes and i paused some sections so i'm still waiting that's why some players think that it's not working then you get to this part here so i add the five percent chance card 
takes a while again right so you can see that i went from very low to medium now if you click 60,000, i'd say you have a 50 50 percent shot of getting the upgrade now one thing that you must understand is that when you load your 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 chance cards and you click update if you fail then your chance cards are lost so here i was at high i'd say about 80 90 percent chance of getting it right cards are loaded i hesitated because obviously the sound here is uh, is delayed. I hesitated. I added another 500% chance card. And let's look what happens here. I think I might even load. No. So the chance cards are gone now. Click 60,000. Trying to upgrade character. And I didn't get it. You see? So even if your chances are high, it does not mean that you will actually get it. So now I don't have any chance cards. I'm just trying to basically... Upload it, upgrade it, and um, trying a few times, didn't work. So as you can see, even if you buy the 5%, 5,000% 5 chance card, it doesn't guarantee that you will get it. I think the 8,000% that we saw um, in my chance card list probably gives you the best odds, but it was high. And one thing that you must remember is that when you use your chance card and it's not successful, then you lose those chance cards so now this is what i'm left i actually did manage to upgrade destruction load with the eight thousand percent one so just be very careful if you're going to use the chance card it's luck so you might as well go um and fill the bar up so just wanted to show you this and this is the end of this segment so there you go guys this was my take on your questions uh we're concluding episode one of the pounds Headball 2 podcast, really appreciate if you tuned in to the premiere. If you didn't, um, I'd appreciate it if you obviously watched it. Uh, my channel is informative. I try to interact and answer questions. This game does a lot for me. So if you have questions for next week's episode, which should be on the 2nd of April, if I'm not mistaken, feel free to either post them in the comment section of this video or on my interactive YouTube channel um, in the community tab. I think there is, uh, I'll post a question on there. So any question is welcome. Um, I, I can answer depending on time between 6 and 10. It really depends. Now, if I have already answered the question somewhere, I will obviously point you to that. And I don't do uh, hacks. I, you know, some people don't like Massimo Day against pay, paying concepts. That's absolutely fine. Um, playing vids as well. I've got my friend Vast Dogs, who has a great channel for playing vids. And he actually plays against real players, good players from Europe. So I encourage you to subscribe to his channel and watch his stuff. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. Any questions, welcome. As I said, please do subscribe to the channel to keep it going. Keep me motivated. And of course, I'd appreciate a little click on the like button. For me, that's, um, that's good because I see that my channel is growing, that people take an interest. And feel free to share ideas. So wear your mask, be safe, and I'll see you next week. Big ups, bounce.